Hey guys, Fisipolo here, and today I'm going to do the review of the 125 Oscar high grade Gundam Double Sky. Alright, here is the Double Sky itself. Now, for Millions Mall, I have to say, well, it's just a regular old high grade I've been building like for the, for the past few times. I mean, it's not it's not the best high grade I've seen, but yet also like the uh, not the worst I've seen. It's just like a, some normal high grade that I would usually build and. Be happy when I watch your building it, building it. But yeah, in terms of details, what I gotta say, uh, well, the the blue really stands out a lot in this kit. And yeah, even though I know it's called Double Sky, yeah, I, if you, except for the joints of this model, uh, everything else is completely new. Like, I, I'm, I was hoping to use some parts from like you know old double gun, or the joints, like some armors and stuff. But no, it's a totally original design. As I said, other than joints. So and yeah, so yeah, uh, you've got the colors, you've got the white, the blue, the navy blue, the yellow, and red, and some green on the joints. And two clear pieces on, on the condensers, which they call come clear, and they're not supposed to be in color. So I left them alone. And yeah, so in terms of stickers, that's, I'm, I'm actually happy that this, this does not have a lot of stickers. Let me turn off the turn to it real quick. Come on. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Oh. Actually. There we go. That. Okay, now turn the stickers. This is all you get, which is really good. And they all go in the Gundam. This is pretty interesting. You get a forehead camera, back of the head, which can, you can see here, the eyes, and you get the, the green on the on the sense the sense on the feet. And I'm trying to remember, oh yeah, the black on the vents of the chest. That's it. No more stickers, which is pretty good. Everything else here is all in plastic color, which is all the correct colors, and yeah, even the se the seam lines in this kit is yeah they, they they try their best to hide them. Like okay, this here is a panel line, but from from here almost on on the uh, wrist it's it's a seam line. Uh, that's a panel line over here, but it's a seam line in between here, which is okay. And even the shoulder, the shoulders have they they made it into a panel line, so it, it's not really a seam line when you kind of put it in that way. So I really like the how they engineered this model kit to be honest. So. Yeah, and yes, if you're wondering if the scar is is actually recreated on the chest, it is. Though it's not as visible as I thought. If, you paint, if I have painted a little silver here, then it will stand out a little bit more. But, you know, it's, it's nice that the scar is in there. But if you don't like the scar, you you know, you don't have to complain and say... You know, it really gets on my nerves that people say, say that the scar should be not there instead of a sticker. I mean, if you don't like the scar, you might as well try to learn to modify the kit. Like, just put some putty on top and there you go. But yeah... Uh, in terms of the detail, it's pretty good. Alright, for articulation, well, I mean, it's it's okay for what it is. Like, it's just like, just what you expect for a double high grade. The head is on a ball joint, double ball joint, it goes up, not that much, down, eh, so much. Uh, forward and back, side to side, rotate. The arms, okay, let's just move the, the sky, bind, sky drive binders out, out of the way so that I can. Okay, uh, this is one of the problems I face in this kit. Uh, the front skirts, uh, uh, if you separate the front skirts, uh, they will, will fall off really easily. So, if you want to separate the front skirts, you may want to re reinforce the, uh, the ball joints in, in the, uh, ways. Because the way they, how they put, they connect these ball joints aren't, aren't, not, not the best, really. So I was saying, uh, the arms can rotate all the way around, but because of these sky, five sky drive binders, they, they hinder the movement. Although there's a way you can actually counter that, which I was, uh, which I showed, showed a bit later. The arms can go out that far. Rotation below the shoulder, double joint elbow. Uh, yeah, about more than more than ninety degrees, which is pretty good. Uh, ball joint wrist, uh, which um, okay. Another problem in this kit is that the ball joints on the wrist don't stay that well. Uh, occasionally, when you move this mall here and there, sometimes the ball joints may not stay there and just slip off. So occasionally, if you see if you see it in a review, then Popping off, that's most likely is because that's because of the weak ball joint. I think it's because of the end, the way the engine in their arms, like the poly character just sits there and it's a bit too tight. So it's not not the best uh best uh connection for the the wrist. The torso, okay, you don't really get an air crunch. In fact, the ball joints are really tight, so you can only really get a swivel out of it. Front skirts are more together, together, but you can separate them like I do. Both they're not that secure. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're not really secure. Like even if I try to push them all the way in, it's not not really secure. I try my best to. Yeah. 
yes, it's not not the best. But I put I I did fix it with just a little bit of blue tack on it, so it might fa not fall as often. But but that's the one solution I can, I can try without permanent making permanent decision. Side squares are on a ball joint. Back square does not move. The legs, okay, move out of the way. Can go far, that or that far. Dodge back. Out, uh, pretty far. Rotation the hip. Double jointed knee. Uh, a little more 90, 90 degrees, but wait, is it because he, Oh yeah, it's not. Oh shit, no. Okay, another problem. Not problem, but rather something you need to be careful. My God. These side skirts are really bothering me. I should I should separate them even after some reviews. Okay, so I was saying, uh, the the this back piece really will get caught when you try to bend bend the uh, bend the knee. So if you try my try your best to actually, yeah, not over nine degrees. It's, it's supposed to bend that way, and yes, the legs fall off a little bit too easily. Uh, I hate these balls. I don't know what, why it's not staying there. I shouldn't I shouldn't have separated them. Yeah, double vagina that's how far it bends. There is a there's an ankle armor that moves up and down. Ever so actually uh, no, it can go all the way around. Sorry about that. And then the ankles can go forward and back pretty far. Side to side. Well not as much as double O, but it's it's it bends as much. Almost as much. Why is the legs popping off? Okay. Okay. And yeah, you can say they crunch side to side, and it can rotate before it pops off. And then the toes can move down, and the heel can move down. That's more for for that transformation I'll show you later. And the backpack, okay. The backpack, uh, okay. Uh, this, okay. I'm not sure if anyone has the same problem, but I hope it's not the others as well. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll show it. I'll take it first. Basically, the, there's a ball joint on the uh, backpack arm. There's a swivel in the backpack arm on that this one just can rotate it's go up and down and this can move this one can move up and down but it's a for transformation not transformation like some gimmick and the the shoulder arm the shoulder the backpack armor can swivel and it can why I, I swear it's not this this ball joint is flying very often try and best it nope it's not not gonna stay there yeah so saying this backpack this armor moves far and back and rotate Okay, now I was saying, uh, I'm not sure it's, it's on all models, but this, at least on mine, uh, V. Okay, if I push this backpack all the way, this uh, drive all the way in, when I bend it, yeah, see, it comes very loose because because the connection of the drive is not that good. So yeah, see, I mean, it's not that great. I think I hope it's not the same for the other models, but uh, other double guys out there. But if if this is a problem, then uh, I'm just playing playing this out, but. In the meantime, if you don't move this drive too much, then it should be okay. Like, just don't push it in all the way. But yeah, for articulation, well, it's not too bad. Like, it's it's reasonable. Like, it's uh what you expect for high grade. So yeah, articulation, not too bad. Alright, for accessories, well, let's start with something kid already. That's to do the beam sabers. Which, okay, the, the blue part is the one part of the beam saber, but the other part you need to put in somewhere else, which is these. Now they go in a certain direction, like, okay, this one goes to the right, or this one goes to the left skirt. And you do get two clipping beams. I want to show them, but unfortunately, uh, they'll fall off, so I, I, I'd rather not. But you do get two clipping beams, uh, the shorter variant for some reason, but beam saber nonetheless. That's that. And now, next up, we got the sky bracers. And they, okay, as as with the double sky, you, it basically follows the theme of the Destiny. So, it, and even the sky bracers look, look a lot like the uh, Destiny Gundam's hands, which is kind of interesting. And you can just extend them like so if you want to use them. And it can hold, grapple on the things and, you know, destroy them. But I kind of wish the thing, these fingers can move because, you know, in, in the show, it, it was fighting, okay, well, minor spoilers, it was funny, it was fighting Tiger Wolf. Uh, these hands open and then start crushing the uh, hand of the Ultron. I mean, I know it's a high grade, but they could they could tr at least try making these moves. But you know, it's okay for what it is. And next up, we have the Skylight Guards, which okay, okay. I, now this is the normal version of the, the Double Sky. The higher in the Sky face version, which is basically different colors for the Double Sky, and then the uh, um, you get some effect parts for the Double Sky. Is uh, yeah, you basically get effect parts for the um. Shin, the shin guards and the gauntlets. So, basically, you move them down. If I could do it, yeah. Something like that. Actually, no, we can move it further now. Yeah, that's the furthest I can go. And you just flip this down. 
Oh, if I can do it. Yep, like, like that. And you can kick. But you know, in the, but it looks better with the the, the uh, effect part. But unfortunately, I don't. I didn't buy yet that version, so I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine with not having those. So it's okay for that. So yeah, that's the accessories on the Gundam itself. Now let's look at the handheld accessories. First up, you get the beam rifle, which okay. Whenever I think about the double Gundam, I find myself well. The double Gundam are always not the basically the Cessna's mobile suits. Um. Uh, they follow a certain theme, like the guns can turn, can sorry, the swords turn to guns, guns turn to swords, basically something like that. But for the double sky, since it follows the destiny, destiny theme, it uses a conventional mirror flow, like a, like a generic Gundam. But you know, it's fine. Like okay, okay, yeah. See what I mean? These even though I don't move that much, the ball joints aren't that secure on the wrists, so it can go in like so, and it can shoot. Yep, simple as that. Oh, come on. Yes, I'm in an awkward position holding right now. And then, yeah, the, the hand look and move. A uh, hollow part. It's a hollow part in here. It's kind of ugly, but it's okay. And yeah, basically, if I store the rifle, you can flip out the peg if I could do it. Yep, sorry. Uh, there we go. Flip out the peg. And then you can store it in the back. Like that. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting enough. And it really looks like the Age Effects or the Lightning Gun and Food Burners rifle, just from looking at this. So that's the beam rifle. Next up, we have... Stand up. Okay, so saying, the next accessory we get is the Buster Sword. Uh, the This way, yep. Okay, so, yep, Buster Sword, it's again, like just like a Destiny, following Destiny theme, and it pegs onto the right, or you can put it on the left, it's up to you, but just like Destiny, it goes on the right. So, uh... Unfortunately, for my at least for my kit, the Buster Sword does not stay on very well. Okay, it looks secure now, but before when I was playing this kit for for a while, uh, before the review, uh, the Buster Sword will not stay on. Like it will, it will be very loose. Like that's why I had to put blue tech in the hole so it stays there very well. Like yeah, it's okay now, but before that, it was not not a really secure connection. But you know, it's just like Destiny, so uh, stand up. Basically, you just flip it out a bit. Uh, oh god. They, Okay, fine. Uh, the saying, be really careful with this joint because it's really fragile. So move the uh, buster sword really slowly and just click it in. Yep, just like that. And flip out this part that I forgot to put it back on. And then you do get an effect part for the buster sword. You get two of them, but you only need to use one. So it's good if you break the loose this, you can always use another one. And this is more of the uh, hard plastic than the soft plastic you see in beam sabers, which is interesting. And it pegs in like that. There we go. Buster sword. And then the double, the sing, the double sky can stand up. Okay, can hold in the beam buster sword like so. Although uh, the handle on the buster sword is wrong, and then the buster sword, sorry, the uh, handle hand is like is, is is rectangular. So that gives you a problem, but that the double sky can hold the beam sabers quite well. See, it's very floppy. Yeah, I wish they, I wish the, the handles handles. Is particular, but you know, it's, it is what it is. But yeah, you can hold like so if you don't disturb it, so it's okay. And the last accessory on the model kit, on oh, sorry, the model kit, okay, it's the model kit. Uh, the last accessory of the double sky is the long rifle. Again, it's just like the Destiny. Yeah, all these weapons are painted gunmetal, if you just if you noticed, didn't notice by now. And yeah, it can peg on the back. The long rifle, long, long rifle can store on the back well, like, it stays there, so, but a little bit fiddly, but yeah, I mean, if you, you just realize. Yeah, it stays there, like, it stays there, something stays, something stays, and later on, I'm going to put a little blue tag just, just to help that out. And, okay, this part, this the, the part that holds the uh, weapons can swing out, uh, like this, as you can see, yeah, it can swing out, so it's supposed to be, uh, like this, but I do this because it's just to stay safe, so I don't, uh, uh, break anything on the way. And then, uh, just like the, the, the Buster Sword, you can unfold the, uh, rifle, like that, and then just... Push it in if I can do it. Yeah, take that. There you go. The rifle's done. Yeah, and then you just uh, peg it on the bottom, and yeah, it, and the there are two handles on like, both sides, so it can be a lefty or a righty. Yeah, the buster's the hand's not good. Okay, let's put it aside. Uh, yeah, it has two handles on both sides, so it, it there's two handles on both sides, so it can be a lefty or a righty, up to you. Yeah, so. Yeah, you can just uh, hold no. Yeah, you, you get a drill. You can hold an arm. But yeah, that's what accessories. Oh, I forgot one more thing. You do also get an open left palm hand, 
and a uh, giant part, which I'll show you around what reason for this one. So yeah, for accessories, well, yeah, it's okay. They're they're fine. Okay, now there are two more gimmicks that you can have in this kit. First one is being the wings of light. Uh, like I said, uh, you don't get the effect parts on the normal version, so it's either you scratch blue your wings or get the higher sky face and get given wings here. So basically, what you do is swing this, swing the this part out, and then rotate this up, and then just swing it down. Yeah, that's it. And same thing here. Move this piece out, swing this down, move this piece up, and there you go. You get the wings of light, uh, pretty much uh, without the wings, of course. But um, I mean, if if you want, you can scratch your wings or buy the uh, effect parts just to put in there, which can fit nicely. But you know, I don't use, I don't tend, to, I don't want to use this mode because it looks a little bit, nah, it's not 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 that great. But yeah, that's that's one of the gimmicks. And the second gimmick is the lash position. Now basically, that's just the double skies hand hand combo. mode. Now what you do basically is swing this out. Uh, like this. Unpack the backpack from the uh, from the back, and then swing the backpack. Now if I can do it. Oh god, I'm worried about. Come on. There we go. Okay, just like that. And then yeah, um, just uh, swing this in and swing this in. Yeah, that's the last position. Basically, if it gives more movement out of the uh, double gun, which is the reason why I, I explained the articulation that there's a reason why it can't move, it, there's a movement you can move to move more. And of course, uh, in the last position, you also extend all the sky bracers, basically. Like that. And, uh, and your hands fall off, that's not a good sign. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the last position. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a nice gimmick, but, uh, uh, it practically practically in battle that's it works, but when you can't when you do it on the model, it just looks kind of weird. But um, yeah, you as you can see, there are two holes in like a slit. That's it for the uh, backpack. But there are two holes back here. So what you basically do with these two holes is like okay, as I said, mentioned these joint part, this joint part, which basically you can attach backpacks and other models into this kit. And in fact, this backpack is not permanent. You can actually take out that back this backpack and put other backpacks as you desire. So you can do this. Kit has a lot of customization, customization options, and even in the backpack itself, it it does have one hole in here. See, if I pop out this panel, you get one hole. So you can actually customize this kit how you like, and yeah, I mean, the customization this this kit is actually customized customization friendly. So yeah, I'm 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 quite kind of glad they actually did that. So that if you if you want if you choose to modify this kit, you have you have some ease to do it. So yeah, for the gimmicks. Alright, for comparison, let's bring in Uncle Hoshan and bring him. Uh, he should be here for a reason. Okay, I'm gonna compare it to the Double Diver Ace. Yeah, it's a really drastic change, especially from this, from how this turned, this Double Diver Ace turned into Double Sky. That's pretty amazing. Not amazing, but pretty, pretty shocking. I know. And uh, what else should I get? Oh yeah, I should bring you because you. You pretty much trashed, trashed the, the diver race into this guy. The no name. Yeah. Uh, no name is a bit taller. I think, yeah, no name is a little bit taller than the boss guy. But yeah, so the review. Alright, that's our review of the high grade gun double sky. Now, what does it mean in this kit? Well, for 1500 yen, it's a pretty good kit for what it is, uh, aside from these, uh, a little bit of issues I have here, here, here and there in this kit. but. I, they don't really bother me, which is pretty, which is quite interesting. So, the detail was well, really pretty good, especially on the, the the detail on the scar on the chest, and then the minimum amount of stickers, which is pretty good. Articulation, well, it's pretty much almost the same as the double Gundam, so nothing much to say here. The accessories, well, I will say it's like a generic Gundam loadout, but it's mostly like the inspiration from the Destiny Gundam, so that's fine with me. But I'm not a huge fan of Destiny, the Destiny Gundam, but but seeing it on the double sky just makes me think, eh, it's it's fine, like it's a fun thing to have. Um, the gimmicks, well, the the wing, the high wings of light, and then the the lash position uh, mode, I find it a little, bit, a little bit silly because I don't think there's a need for you to do that in model kit form. But if if it's there for a reason, then yeah, I'm fine with that I mean, accuracy. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, customization often, yes, you do get the, the holes on the back or on the backpack. One hole in the backpack, that's pretty good. So if you want to modify this kit, then all, by all means go ahead. It's pre it's pretty friendly in terms of modeling, in terms of modifications. 
Now, this model comes in two forms. The normal version, which you see, which you're seeing right now, and then the hide and sky face version. The difference is, is the color scheme, and then the effect parts plus stand. So, if I were to, if I were to choose between the two, I'll say go for the hide and sky face version. But the reason why I got this, the normal version is because I don't like, I don't like the color scheme on that, on that, uh, not that, that, uh, hide and sky face version. Because I've, you know, I, I, I mean, it glows in the backlight, yeah, that's my, that's pretty much my thing, but, I personally prefer normal version. I don't really like the power up version, to be honest. Uh, yeah, not my thing. But if you don't like don't like the higher than sky face version, there's, then there's not much reason not to, to get that version. You can always get the normal version. It's always there. But yeah, overall, do I recommend this kit? Yes, pretty fun kit. I like the build. If you're a casual builder or like fight build divers in general, yes, go for it. But if you don't like build divers, the build diver series, or it, you don't like this kind of design, or if you're a UC builder, then yeah, there's not much reason not to get this because. Um, uh, it's yeah, it's it's basically a, like a very original design. I mean, I, I can understand why people don't, don't like the design, but you know, for what it is, I'm perfectly fine with it. But if you don't like the design, then this, uh, you you won't you will not miss you won't miss out. So don't worry about that. So yeah, that's all, guys. Thank you for watching this unbox. Uh, thank you for watching this review. Yeah, I got my back back on fine again because the old one kind of bent up. So yeah, uh, back to reviews and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, so guys, thank you for watching this review, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.